Uh, meantime, yesterday we reported that IAC will spin off dating giant Match Group. 24 hours later, IAC CEO Joe Levin is here with another big announcement that just crossed, crossed the wires. IAC is acquiring online care marketplace, care.com, and uh, he's here at the table with us now. So what, this just crossed, what, about 15 minutes ago? Yeah. Pretty so exciting. this is a, a big, this is sort of the next chapter. We were talking about the anti-conglomerate that, that Barry likes to talk about. Yeah. Sort of this is the next piece of it. This is it. We think it's a huge marketplace, about a $300 billion market just in the U.S. And for those uninitiated, Care.com is? Care.com matches uh, people looking for care for their home, whether that's right. child care, senior care, nannies. Uh, with caregivers. And there's, I think, about a million active caregivers on the platform right now, and something like three or 400,000 families, a uh, active paying subscribers looking for caregivers. And what do you think you can do to this company? I, I think, first of all, they've done a really nice job with the business in terms of it's been growing for all of its history. Um, it's a couple hundred million dollars in revenue already, profitable already. And We've done a lot of things with marketplace businesses where we sort of know how to build, I think, supply and demand at the same time. Um, and that's through things like customer acquisition. That's through things like product. And we're going to invest in all those things in this business right. and, I think, expand it. And one of the areas that I think is most interesting is, and this is something we're doing at Angie also, is starting to go more towards on-demand and transactional. So not just showing people a list and giving people a, a a list of care providers who may be available to do their job, but actually helping match them and bring them together and, and make that transactional Was on the, the platform. Was the same sort of matchup that you do for like a dating site or something? Or how do, like, what kind of questions would you ask? How would you match them up? Yeah, it's more availability, qualifications, uh, things like background checks. But, but really, right now, uh, it's hard to match exact schedules, for example. Right. So saying exactly, I need somebody Tuesday, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Right allowing the platform to give that information to both sides so, so that they can, they can connect. Yeah. Talking about background checks, the Wall Street Journal reported um, back in March, uh, you probably know about this, these nine instances over the past uh, six years where caregivers had police records. And so the question I had is, what do you do to try to prevent that? Because that actually even hit the stock at the time. Yeah. So First Care has made a lot of progress on that already. Uh, but safety is going to be a top priority for us. It is on all of our platforms. You've got to do things like background checks, and you've got to give tools to both sides right. of the marketplace to make sure that people are, are safe. From a valuation perspective, if you look at this stock, I don't know if we can get care.com going back a little over a year. Do If we can go back maybe 18 months or even two years, you can see it was even higher than where it was where you're buying it at. Can you explain what, what took place over this past period? Probably not, because we weren't, weren't uh, uh, operating it over the But I'm sure you've thought about valuation and sure. therefore looked at where it was just about 18 months ago or even less yeah. and where it is today. Yeah, look, I, I mean, the, the Wall Street Journal story you, you pointed out definitely was a, a hit to the narrative. And I, I don't trade stocks, so I don't follow closely kind of why it goes up and down. But we look at where it is today and where we're able to buy it. And we think that that's a pretty uh, attractive entry point to get into a far and away number one in the category, meaningfully bigger than its next competitor. In terms of the model that you've built, bringing companies in and then ultimately hoping to spin them out, yep. to the degree there's a secret sauce in this, how much of it is about putting your own management in? I know uh, one of the things you're doing is bringing a new CEO into the company. What else happens? Uh, there's a lot of learning. So, so for example, Tim can very easily, in, in ways that sort of care on its own, can't. Tim, who, Tim Allen is going to run the business for right. us, uh, and he's worked with, with us at IAC for, I don't know, more than 15 years. He, he can call all the other um, leaders of marketplace businesses or the head of marketing or the head of customer acquisition or the head of conversion or optimization or all these things and say, have you tried this thing yet? Have you tried that thing yet? And you could do that in a very open way that you can't do with an outside company. You can't just give them all the data, all the history in, in that sort of unfettered access. Can you take any of the technology, the behind the scenes stuff from one platform and translate to another? Or is that just too Not really. We, we, we try not to integrate technology at all. We really never have. But, but things you've learned in technology, which is, you know, we're, we're deploying this tool as it relates to uh, measuring lifetime value. You could try also deploying this tool. It's not going to be the same one, but how'd you build it? How, how does it work? What are the, the metrics that go in or the inputs or who are the partners that you work with on that? I mean, this, this in particular is an area where there's so much need. It's also one where I can't think of a more sensitive situation. I mean, yep. I, I, I tried care.com eight years ago when I had my son. Didn't have a great first experience with the person I got hooked up with, nothing against care.com. Yep. Um, 
but if you can find a way to crack this, to give me more information, to let me feel safer about it, to find people who are close by, all of those different metrics. I mean, it's a, a nanny yes. situation is impossible. It, it, there's there's with nothing. Your baby. There's nothing yeah. more. Um, I don't envy. I'm nothing. glad I'm beyond that. No, it, it's, well, it, it's elder a care terrifying. Is another. No, that's the idea. Yeah, maybe elder care. Um, elder care in terms, in terms of yeah. uh, additional acquisitions. Yeah. I mean, you've done bolt-ons over the years. Once you get into a, a market, sometimes you're adding other pieces to the, to the pie. Yep. What should we be expecting in terms of, you now have some cash as a result of what's been taking place in terms of the spin-off and everything else. What's going to happen? Look, we're always, have always will prioritize our cash to add to our existing businesses. This care is a big step for us because it's a totally new category. Right. I mean, it's somewhat tangential to other businesses that we're in, like Angie Home Services, where we're matching you with home service professionals. Uh, but this is really a totally new business for us. And uh, we're going to prioritize adding to those existing businesses for sure because we can be better when we know the business. We can be better when we have been in the category for a while. And I think we can have an information advantage relative to other people in that category when we're, we're adding to our existing businesses. Okay.